So yeah, I did the morning thing this morning. Gave a little bit of my uh, testimony. If I was to uh, sit here and go through my whole testimony, probably take, I don't know. I don't know how long it would take. But uh, something that the Holy Spirit put on my heart to share with you guys this morning. <laughs> I was already out here doing some yard work, you know. <laughs> um, how do you know if you truly love God? Um, how do you know if you truly love somebody? Well, I can tell you how you truly love God. Uh, if you truly love God, you'll start to hate the things that God hates. And what does God hate? Well, God hates anything that is not good for you. Whether it be for your body, for your mind, for your spirit. You, if you are truly seeking God, you will truly start to hate the things of this world. And what I mean by that is um, you will start to hate evil, hate bad things, anything bad for a person, towards a person, or uh, against a person, whether it be gossiping, whether it be um, uh, drugs, um, anything that's bad for your body, um, anything that's bad for, uh, that's, that's negative, um, whether it's speaking, saying cuss words, um, whether it's, uh, uh, frustration towards someone that, that might hurt their feelings, um, anything that's, that's not lovely or pure or praiseworthy. Anything that's, um, you know, out of strife or, or, or bitterness or, um, and the list goes on and on as far as, um, uh, what God hates, you know, uh, of this world, because I'm pretty sure there's a lot of this world that he just can't stand, you know? And, um, uh, once you start to, um, form a relationship with, the great I am, the, the, the most powerful one in the universe, you will submit to him and he will start to incorporate his ways into your life, his thoughts, his um, gestures, his uh, love, uh, true love, not, not love of, 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 of the worldly things, you know, um, <laughs> My mom was down here for a couple of weeks and, and, you know, I live in a trailer house and, um, and, um, you know, it, it's not the real best trailer house, but if I think back to the times of Jesus and Peter and Paul and, and, and Bartholomew and, and just, and, and, and Luke and, 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 and all these, um, great men of God, you know, they had dirt floors, man. They, uh, they, 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 they didn't have a whole, like, they didn't have a closet to walk into and, and pick which pair of shoes they were going to wear that day. They, they most likely had a pair of sandals that they've had for years, you know, and they're, they're like adding leather straps to it and stuff. And, and, and these, these guys didn't have a whole lot, you know, and, and it doesn't bother me that I don't have a lot of things. I'm grateful to God for what I do have. You know, and, and, and I love him for it. And um, so just next time you you go to, you know, drink around your children or or fight and bit, bit, bicker around your children and stuff, just remember they're learning. They're learning how to be like that, you know. And the love of God is, is so much more than we could ever possibly think of and and it's not his only attribute though you know and, and we have to realize that that God does uh, hate things and 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 he doesn't like some of the ways that we we have that we are born into and raised into you know um, you know I've been around a lot of abusive people in my life you know um, 
not only because of the simple fact I've done most of my life locked up in prison and institutions and rehabs and, and mental hospitals and stuff, man, but uh, growing up as a kid, you know, I went through a lot of father figures that, that weren't my father. I didn't meet my real dad until I was 29 years old, you know, and and, um, and I could let that affect me or or I could be happy that I got to meet him, you know, and and see what I might become if, if I had grown up with him, you know. And um, so just remember that true love and true relationship with God, you're going to have... You're going to start to see differences in your life, whether you're out here exploiting it to other people so that you can gain acceptance and 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 uh, and that they'll like you because they never liked you all your life. And because you were you were never a certain way and you never mounted up to a, how they wanted you to be and and stuff like that. And once you have true change in your life and, and and you start to live for the Lord, you know, and uh, and and. Just let him live through you, man. Just just be yourself, who you are in Christ and who Christ is in you. And just let him um, just start to, you know, change you from the inside out. And you will be another person. You'll speak differently. You'll act differently. You'll look different. I, I've had people just in the last seven months, like, whoa, oh, it is you, you know. And they didn't even really recognize me, man, because I know that I don't look the same. I'm not the same. You know, um, uh, being born again is, is, is not the same. You know, you, you're not going to look the same. You're not going to act the same. You're not going to speak the same. And, um, so just think about that whenever you think about how, do I really love God? Does God really love me? And, and do I really love people? You know, um, I, you know, I don't go to church, but, um, we have internet now. Thank you, Lord for the internet, you know, and, and even though I don't believe, um, uh, God created the internet, I think that, um, that he can use it to his, uh, benefit and in the sense that, you know, you don't have to go to the church to make an appearance, uh, to your community that, oh, look at me, I've changed. Uh, you can get on, on YouTube or, or, um, subscribe to, um, uh, a church, um, <laughs> I mean, I have several different pastors that I listen to on, on YouTube and uh, Francis Chan, uh, Bill Johnson, Todd White, uh, Dan Moeller. Um, th these guys, um, you know, um, ha have really um, brought the word to me in a sense that I didn't have to go to church. You know, I, I just turn on YouTube and, and, and go get alone with the Lord and them. Uh, I see the, the pastor, me and the Lord and uh and my Bible and, and what, however else I want to study or incorporate uh, God's word and his ways into my life. So um, with that, I'm going to get back to trying to get this place. Uh, you know, I got a lot of stuff to do around here. And um, I just thank God that I'm able to um, uh, be healthy and, and I'm still alive and um, and able to tell you guys and share with you guys on YouTube a little bit about how God can work in you and through you. And thank you very much. And have a nice day. And God bless you. And um, I'm praying for all the people that view YouTube today as I work. Love you. Bye.